BiggerWithPro.com. We're all almost together. Hey, Ed Stefan here over at BiggerWithPro.com. The purpose of this video is to talk about batteries, specifically battery types. So we're talking about AGM style batteries versus lead acid batteries. So <clears throat> lead acid batteries are commonly known as wet cell batteries. AGM batteries are known as absorbed glass mat batteries. They're relatively newer on the scene, but have been around for several years at this point. The thing to know about AGM batteries is, is that they last tremendously longer. They've got about a 10 year design life versus lead acids have about a three year design life. You can recharge lead acid batteries from dead only three to five times and it's game over. Uh, AGMs are ridiculously more forgiving in that regard, depending on, depending on specifically on which, a, on which AGM manufacturer you go with, it can be actually like, you know, 50 plus times. So it really depends on how you use the truck as far as what battery makes sense for you. Now in addition to that, lead acid batteries take just as long to charge from dead to 80% as they do from 80% to 100% charge. AGMs don't have this issue. AGMs, when they get discharged, they largely say, oh, you've got electrons? I like me some electrons. And it goes ahead and accepts that charge. So if you do shorter trips and you've got an alternator that can offset this load um, better, chances are good that your AGM battery will spend its life at a higher load, a uh, higher, higher percentage of charge rather, um, than, than the uh, lead acid counterpart. So what happens to lead acid batteries is they sulfate over time. Think of sulfation like mold on bread. So once it comes on there, that part of the battery no longer accepts its charge and it takes like pulse mode charging to get that off of there. And so recognize that that's a thing. So AGM batteries are far more money, but they are also far more reliable. I've got a set of Odyssey AGMs in one of my trucks, for example. I own seven six liters because there's clearly things wrong with me. And they're five years old. And at five years old, they test out a little over 1,400 cold cranking amps. Holy buckets. That's amazing. But are they spendy? They're kind of spendy. They're available for site of the link below. However, I'm not saying you need those. What's wrong with the $130 lead acid battery? Well, you know what? Nothing for a lot of us. It just depends on how you use the truck. But recognize that lead acid batteries can accept a charge up to a 15.7 volt rate and AGMs cannot. If you try to charge AGMs at that kind of voltage rate, you're gonna outgas the batteries. You're gonna overcharge them. You'll shorten their design life about on the order of 20 to 25%. And that would be bad for you. So when you're thinking about this, think about what alternator you've got. Most alternators are voltage regulated at 14.9 volts. The issue with 14.9 volts is it's just too high for AGMs. Now, if you've got a stock alternator that's only in a, in a power stroke, for example, power stroke six liter, it's probably only a 110 amp alternator. So if you have a 110 amp alternator, it just can't push that hard. So yes, it's regulated at 14.9, but you probably commonly only see 13.6, 13.7, if. So, there is a lot of moving parts here in your quest for determining what the best battery for you is. I'm very mindful that if we were all made out of money, I might just be driving brand new trucks, but that's just not the world that we're living in, right? So if you want your stuff to last as long as possible, yeah, AGMs make a whole lot of sense, but you have to have the right alternator to go with it. So who does it make sense to have AGMs? If you use short trips, AGMs. If you plow snow, AGMs. If you run some wicked awesome car stereo, AGMs. If you're just a daily driver kind of guy and that's all you are, probably lead acids make more sense for you. But if you live in the deep south, hmm, deep south. I probably meant to say deep north. If, but we'll talk about the south. In the south, heat kills batteries commonly. AGMs are a little more forgiving to heat than lead acids. Not a ton, but a little bit more. In the deep north, so say you're one of our North Dakota folks, right? We think zero degrees is cold. Uh, they think that that's like a beautiful, a beautiful summer day. Not really, but you understand. The, in the really, really, really cold temperatures, AGMs do better than their lead acid brethren. So that's kind of the story. So I hope this helps. If you have other questions, Feel free to put them in the comments below. We'll do our best to answer them. Or give us a call at thickermafair.com. Phone number's right on the website, 515-897-4459. But regardless, know that the goal is never to sell anything. It's just to give you information so you can make the best choice for you. We're all in this together.
Thanks for watching. Hey, head over here and pick up my pair. Um, purpose of this video is to start over.